Hey guys. Welcome to couple. Please like and subscribe if you like the video. Reeling from the shock and outrage of Molly Tibbetts slaying in the small Iowa town the college student from California called home, hundreds of mourners filled a gymnasium Sunday afternoon to remember the life she squeezed into 20 years, and mourned the loss of her beaming smile and effervescent personality. A massive resurrection for Tibbetts was held at the Brooklyn Guernsey Malcolm High School Gymnasium in Brooklyn, Iowa. The crowd for the ceremony was so large that dozens more were forced to sit in overflow seating outside and watched the service on video. The town of 1,500 people is surrounded by cornfields and a placid rolling landscape now marred by the episode that started when the young woman vanished July 18 during her evening run and ended Tuesday when her suspected killer allegedly led authorities to her body. Tibbet's two brothers and cousins served as pallbearers. She was eulogized by her father, Rob Tibbetts, cousin Morgan Collum and her former high school teacher, J.R. Glenn. Tibbetts' father told those in attendance that the person best equipped to help everyone through this would be his daughter Molly. He thanked all the volunteers and law enforcement for their assistance and defended the local Hispanic community, saying he is grateful for them. Father Leo Edgerly of Corpus Christi Catholic Church in Oakland's Piedmont neighborhood, where the Tibbetts family are members and where Molly had her first communion, said he's reached out to her grieving parents, Laura and Rob, to let them know they are in his prayers and in those of the entire congregation. We now know where she is. Even though she died tragically she'll never suffer again, Edgerly told ABC station KGO-TV in San Francisco. Three days after his sister's body was found in a cornfield, her younger brother, Scott, a senior quarterback at BGM High School, led his varsity football team to a season-opening win over Lisbon, Iowa. Scott Tibbetts and his teammates have dedicated their season to Molly and on Friday night wore patches on their jerseys and decals on their helmets with Molly's initials inside a heart with angel wings. During the 35-24 win, Scott Tibbetts threw two touchdown passes and ran for another. After his first TD pass, connecting on a bomb early in the first half, Scott pointed to the sky in honor of his sister.